Hey guys, um, I've been thinking about this video for a while, and um, it's crazy the videos I've seen that people changing their bug out bag saying it's seasonal. A bug out bag is not a vacation bag, it's not a It's not a, a trend, a trending item to have. It's an item that's going to save your butt in a bad situation. I'm going to give you a couple examples of, um, of what I've seen. This one guy, he says he's changing his bug out bag because it's springtime now. He's going to switch it over to spring and summer. And... Um, he took out all his winter clothes and he put tank top, shorts, sandals, flip flops I call them, but they they were sandals. And um, he had a heavy winter sleeping bag and he put a little fleece sleeping bag in there. And I'm sitting there looking like, you're a friggin' idiot. No matter... If it's in August and it's 90 or 100 degrees and say a thunderstorm comes and brings us a, a, a day's cold front in, everything's wet. You can't get a fire started. You're soaking wet and the temperatures drop down to 50 degrees. And the only dry clothes you have is a tank top shorts and flip-flops oh and your little lightweight fleece sleeping bag and it's pouring down rain and cold wind blowing you're sitting there shivering you're going to catch hypothermia and you're going to die i i, I seen another guy he um he took out like his winter gloves and his winter hat and and you know his jackets and stuff like that and put in like a flannel which I don't understand that and he also he put in um, um, suntan lotion you know he put in like three bottles of suntan lotion Why? Now I can understand if you're light skin and your your skin burns easy, you know, but you should keep that in your bug out bag all the time, just not in the summertime. Daddy. Because you can get a suntan, a sunburn in the middle of winter time with the um, if the sun's real bright and hitting the glaring off the snow. I'm busy. Okay, wait a minute. Go on in there. Go play. Don't be throwing rocks. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but you can get a sunburn from that. You know, the glare off of snow. Um, another guy. I mean, this guy had a decent bug out bag. I mean, he he had a decent bug out bag, but he took all his winter clothing. Um, his sleeping bag and he put another little bivy sleeping bag lightweight bivy sleeping bag in there he took out all his snares he had picture frame snares he had regular wire, wire snares and he had some 110 and he says oh I don't need that it's not hunting I mean trapping season so I'm just going to rely on fishing during a SHTF situation, they will be no season. It will be survival season. And I cannot believe this guy took all his means of getting food and just put it away. You know, what happens to these guys who, I don't know if they want, they're, they're want to, they're want to be youtube superstars or get on some stupid 
TV show like Doomsday Prepper or something like that. You know, Rambo Preppers. Hell, I don't know what they, you want to call them. To me, they're stupid. And, um... What happens if you change out your bag like that and in August, say something happens and wintertime sets in, we have an early winter, say in October. Here you are with no major winter gear. What's going to happen to you? You're going to freeze to death. And you know what? I hope... I hope... Um, these guys are around me when it does happen. Because I give them 30 days. Then I go looking for them. And I find their dead body. <coughs> I'll take their gear. And if there's anything useful in there, I'll keep it. But if there's a trading center somewhere set up, I'll go take their gear. Trade it off. And get me something for me and my family to help make us through. I mean, it's crazy. And I see these guys carrying crowbars, carrying um, boat cutters, carrying all kinds of, you know, 10 pounds of tools in their bug out bag. And I can't understand, you know, why. If it's locked, <coughs> It's a reason there it's locked because they could be somebody behind that door and you take that crowbar and you bust that door open and you get met with a chest full of lead. There, there's no sense in carrying all that crap, all that heavy tools. That 10 pounds of tools, you could put 10 pounds of water, 10 pounds of food, uh, 10 pounds of medical, 10 pounds of traps, snares, fishing stuff, 10 pounds of ammo. I don't see... Now, granted, people going to say, well, Mike, you carry um, nails and a hammer. Yeah, I carry nails and a hammer. Those nails... <coughs> excuse me. Are for me to build a strong shelter where I don't have to carry 5,000 feet of cordage to wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. You know, cut the logs, notch them, put them in place, nail them. They're secure. You know, I'm not going to have that extra weight all the time. But, um, have you guys came across any of these wannabe superstar YouTubers that's telling you to Change out your bug out bag, seasonal. If anybody looks in my bag, let it be in December or let it be in August, I'm going to have the same gear in there all the time because my bug out bag is not a trending issue. It's not a gimmick. It's not a flash in the pan. It's for me to grab in case I have to leave and it will help me get through hard times. I mean, if I'm going to, if it's in the middle of summer and it's hot, if I want to go swimming, I'm either going to jump in butt ass naked <coughs> or I'm going to swim in my, sh my underwear. Why do you have to have a, extra shorts or something like that? Uh, makes no sense to me. Um, but if you guys come across these people, just, um, what have you heard them say to put in? What is the craziest items you've heard them tell you to put in your bug out bag? You know, um, it's, it's, it's wild. I mean, it's, those type of people are not going to last. They're not going to make it because they're on YouTube to try to get money from people or try to get stardom or fame. <clears throat> they don't have the first clue of survival or prepping. You know, it's... Um, and it's a shame because there's probably a lot of people 
who follow them, who believes in them, and who listens to them, then in a SHTF situation, they're going to try to do what they're doing, and they're going to wind up dead. Just following stupidity. But, um, what do you guys think? Do you guys change out your bug out bag? You know, due to the seasons? Or do you just keep it the same? Um, I don't know. Like I said, I've been thinking a couple of days on this video, and it's just, it's mind blowing what people think a bug out bag is they they think it's a gateway to stardom or they think it's a trending item and they really don't have no clue what a bug out bag is truly for <coughs> and, uh, and a lot of people's going to get hurt by these these false preppers false survivalists because they're going to believe in them and they're going to do what they do and they're going to wind up dead. But um, guys, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Um, again, if you've seen some of these people videos, um, what's the crazy items they've told you to put in their bag or you've seen them put in their bag? Um, Daddy, I spoke... Dad, Ricky broke the branches. Ricky broke the branches? Yeah. Okay, okay, go play. Ricky, go on. Okay. Sorry again. But um, I'm going to get off here. Just leave me a comment below, and I'll talk to you next yeah. time. Bye, guys.